hopefully this will be a good view. I know you can see the suction cup mount there, but uh, you can kind of get the idea of the edge of the plow and I'm going. So basically, I'll give you a look around. This is the, the entrance corner. This is an entrance of a small lot. Um, you can see the entrance over here. I'm gonna push this stuff out this way at the same time as like, I'm just cleaning up, doing curb cleanups. Um, so I'll just come into the curb, backtrack, and then let's try to get you like that so you can just see what I'm doing with the edge. I do got a guy with a loader, he's trying to get a jump right now, so we'll be tag teaming. It's fairly good cleaned up already, so I'll push across push up it into my pile. A lot of times you get in second night cleanups. This is what we're doing. Um, gotta clean up around islands and everything like that. Let's see if I can drag this out without getting too close to that other car. I don't think I got enough room. probably drag on the curb. We'll clean up super nice, but that's what they're gonna get for that one. So I'll just pick up there and I'll back up. So I just kind of back dragged along that curb. Got my pile going. I'm gonna sweep in with my left tip. I'm gonna try to do all the islands with the left tip. Uh, so you can see how I Honestly, it's easier to backtrack and sweep in and then pull out. I gotta be careful because I got a car over here to my left. But once you sweep out, you can see how nice that curve is round. And I'm gonna push this over here into this pile. This pile isn't completely round, so I'm going to just take some off. All right, we'll come back to that because we're going to push this lane out here backwards. But we're going to push all this stuff. Uh, we're going to push all this stuff across. So there are cars that still haven't moved, like that car. I'm just going to leave them in case, like if they don't get the picture. And I mean, obviously, these are the business these are the business's cars here. They got logos and everything on them. Do a lot of skin work extra now because I know my loader, but my loader's got a lot of I got bigger piles to do on the other one. Hopefully it gets it started. This blade definitely needs a new cutting edge. Soon. Hopefully we'll get that tonight. Or this week. I mean, I won't make it through another storm without with this edge, I don't think. Which way is a better way to 
mount either the suction cup. I think I like the view on the back window. Uh, it gives a pretty decent view. This is gives you a pretty good idea of what I got going on. So like all these little spaces, I would typically push that straight away. But uh, since there's a fire hydrant there, to like use the tip of the blade going forward or it's more difficult to use it forward like I can do it but I think it's just easier to sweep backwards bump the curb pull also the ridges on the backs of the plow right there they kind of grab the snow and I'm just gonna keep going in like here push it in push up same kind of deal. If they're unhappy with these curbs like this, hey, it's their fault for not for not moving their vehicles. Like they got lots of vehicles around, they could just choose to say, hey, we're gonna move them in or out. They're all gonna be parked in the same spot in a, in a row instead of being one car, three cars covered with snow in, this, in different spots, and then one that's new. basically so 
I'm using the whole machine to turn but keeping the blades straight so the blades straight when it comes into the curb. At least the curb is clean as possible. You can get them cleaner when you go along the curb. And that's like uh, what I was doing with the island and stuff. It looks a lot cleaner. I'll show you that here in a second. But if you go like this and you use the, the trip edge to flip the snow up, uh, it's not as gonna look as clean as this edge here that you ran along it horizontally, but going into it vertically. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I think of it horizontal in my spatial awareness. But uh, coming into it perpendicular, I guess it would be parallel with the curve, not horizontal. So you just want to run. Outlet box. You always want to be careful of things on site. Damaging stuff can become very expensive depending on what you damage. If you got to have a third party contractor come out and fix it. I mean, if I knew if somebody broke irrigation on the site, I would, I would definitely come and fix it. electrical I would assume an electrician would do the same same thing now there is quite a bit of snow right here this is not smooth and rabbit right there but uh, I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave a, a foot to two foot buffer around the car uh, especially with snow on top no that section didn't take that long looks pretty clean I do have to get this one little bit here. Try to push through this puddle.
it does more wear on the plows just to get a little bit of extra to look good. See like this, we'll show you. Left hand side of the plow blade. Hand it over, just come back drag, pull it. jam some music though thanks for uh watching don't forget to like and subscribe more plow fast videos hopefully coming i'm gonna have one uh the next plow fast video you should see would be um what to do when you plow on poor asphalt or gravel or dirt so all right look forward to that